Greetings to you all. This is Father Herbie Santos and welcome to CTK's Faith Streams for June 6, the Solemnity of the Most Holy Body and Blood of Christ or the Feast of Corpus Christi. All throughout the history of salvation, God continues to reach out to us, drawing closer and forging bonds with us by establishing covenants. The covenant the chosen people entered with God in the Old Testament meant that the people would obey and do what God says, and in return, God would deliver them from their enemies. This was sealed by peace offerings of animals, with the blood of the animals sprinkled on the altar and on the people. But when Christ came, He established a new covenant so that God can be united with us in an intimacy like never before. This time, the offerings are no longer done with animals. Instead, Jesus Himself, the Lamb of God, offers Himself as the unblemished sacrifice. His blood is shed for our salvation to cleanse us of our sins. This is the new and eternal covenant as seen in the New Testament. Now, before Jesus ascended into heaven, He wanted to make sure that we had access to Him, specifically to His real presence. And so right before His passion and death, during the Last Supper, which we hear of in today's Gospel, Jesus instituted the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. He said of the bread, Take this, it is my body. He said of the wine, This is my blood, the blood of the covenant poured out for many. These are the very same words the priest utters in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist today. And so what happens in the Eucharist? The sacrifice Jesus made on the altar of the cross 2,000 years ago is made present here and now in the Holy Mass. And because of this, two kinds of transformation take place. First, in the consecration, the bread and wine are transformed into the real body and blood of Christ. This is called transubstantiation. When we eat the bread and drink the wine at Mass, it is no longer bread and wine that we partake of, but rather the real body and blood of Christ in a union between God and man like never before. The second transformation takes place during Holy Communion. When we partake of Jesus' body and blood, we are transformed into His body. We become what we eat. In the Eucharistic prayer, it says, Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with His Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. The point is, it is in the Eucharist that we are united intimately with the Lord and are united with each other as one body. God's vision is for us to be in perfect unity, made possible by none other than the Holy Spirit. Now, this is a tremendous gift that we can only avail of through the Holy Mass. We cannot attain this unity just by personal or individual prayer alone. That is why we Catholics must go to Mass. We go to Mass not only because it is required, we go because without it, we cannot be one with God and one with each other. But these sacred mysteries also pose a great challenge for us. When we are conformed to Christ as one community, we are commissioned by Jesus to be Christ to others. This means, like Christ, we become nourishment for those who are hungry and thirsty. We become good news to those who are discouraged or in despair. We become a source of Christ's love to those who are unlovable and unforgivable. And when we do so, we are truly the body of Christ. And so it is good to ask ourselves, whenever I find it hard to make the presence of Jesus felt in the people around me, do I rely on the graces of the Holy Eucharist 
to mold me and transform me into the person God wants me to be. This has been CTK's Faith Streams. Till next Sunday, may God bless you all and keep you safe.